Hey everybody, welcome back to the Printing Workshop. I'm Matthew and today I'm going to show you how to change out the black imaging unit on a Xerox Versalink C625. Alright, now on the imaging kits there are two different styles. There is the black only and then there's the color imaging kit. Now the black imaging kit is only going to come with the actual black insert for the imaging kit. The colored imaging kit is actually going to come with a new tray altogether. First thing we're going to want to do is you open up this B side cover by lifting up the gray handle. Swing it out and up. And then right here we're going to remove the B1 or the waste cartridge. Pull it straight out. All right, once your waste cartridge is out, we're going to go ahead and remove all these toners and get them out of the way. So you're going to push these orange buttons at the bottom of them unlock them and let them swing out before you unlatch these orange latches right here you're gonna unplug this green RJ 11 phone cord <laughs> that's plugged in in the back once that's unplugged you grab these two orange handles and then you lift them up until it unlocks you'll grab those handles and pull straight out Until you get to the lock and then you can let go which will give you an opportunity to grab the orange handles on the sides lift up pull the drawer the rest of the way out okay once you have your drawer out you're going to want to set it on a flat stable surface you're going to unlock these orange locks by turning them clockwise like that and then i like to grab these cast pieces right here and lift straight up now there's going to be a whole plastic assembly that comes out all at the same time. And you're going to set it right back into its slot. And it should fall right into place. There may be a little resistance. Now do a little wiggle here and there to kind of get it to drop into place. Once it's in, you're going to want to relock it. So you'll take your orange handles and you'll turn them counterclockwise until they snap in place or until they're flush with this side right here. Once you're done with that, then your drawer is completely assembled with all four of your imaging units in it and locked in, and you're ready to put the drawer back into the machine. There's also a green arrow right inside of here that shows right where to put that imaging unit drawer. And there's also a green arrow on the imaging unit drawer itself. So you're gonna wanna match those green arrows up and you should be right in place. Once you get it in a little bit, you can let go of those orange handles, come back to the outside, grab these orange handles, and push it the rest of the way in. Once you get it all the way in, it'll kind of drop into place, and that's when you know you're good. Just swing those orange handles down and lock it in. Once it's locked in, remember, we got to plug that RJ11 green foam cord back in to the rear. Once that's done, we're going to reinstall the toner cartridges. Now make sure that the wording is facing out, and you'll lay those back into their saddle and let them slide down. All right, once that's done, we're going to reinstall the waste toner cartridge. It goes straight into the machine. There's no leaning involved. You just push with your thumbs. It should lock back into place. Make sure everything's nice and flush. And then we're going to close that B side cover It'll touch on the bottom and then swing it in at the top until it clicks. And that's it for the imaging units, guys. If you'd like to see more videos on this same model, click here. Hey guys, from everybody here at the Printing Workshop, we'd like to thank you for viewing our videos. And if they offer you any kind of help, don't forget to like and subscribe.